Hello everyone, I'm back with another video. In this video, we are going to discuss how we can download and install code blocks on our Windows 10 computer. So that being said, let's get started. To download code blocks, just open your favorite browser and search for code blocks and open the link from codeblocks.org. So this is the official website from where you can download code blocks on Windows 10 computer. Let me tell you that code blocks is an open source cross-platform IDE for C and C++ programming. So if you are interested in C and C++ programming, then you have to use CodeBlocks IDE to write and execute your C and C++ code. To download the software, just click on download. And this is the download page from where we can download code blocks on our Windows 10 computer. So there are three ways to download and install code blocks on our computer. So here you can see download the binary release and here we have another option to download the source code and here we have retrieve source code from SNV. I will suggest you to download the binary release. To download the binary release just click on this option. Now here we have to select the operating system. So let me select Windows and now here we get different options for code block. So if you want to download code blocks IDE with C and C++ compiler then you have to download codeblock 17.12 minjwsetup.exe file. To download this file, here we have two different options. So just select any option and it will redirect you to the download page. Here you can see it is downloading and it is around 86.2 MB. So it will take some time. Let me complete the download and after that I will show you how you can install and set up the IDE for C programming language. Our download has been completed. Now let us open the file to install. Just click on yes. And here we have the setup window. Let me minimize the browser. And here just click on next. Now here we get the license agreement. So if you want to read this license agreement, then you can read this license agreement. For now, let me click on I agree. And here we get different options. So I will suggest you to keep it default and click on next. And this is the location where our code blocks IDE is going to install. So if you want to change this location, then you can change by clicking on this browse button. For now, I'm just going to keep it default and finally click on install to install code block IDE on our Windows 10 computer. And here we have an option. Do you want to run code blocks now? Let me click on no. And here just click on next and click on finish. So we had successfully downloaded and installed CodeBlock IDE on our Windows 10 computer. Now let us open CodeBlocks. To open CodeBlocks, just double click on the CodeBlock icon. And here we have CodeBlocks, the open source cross-platform IDE version number 17.1.2. We had downloaded CodeBlocks with a compiler. That's why here we have a option to select a compiler. So the compiler name is GNU GCC compiler. With the help of this compiler, you can compile C and C++ programming language. Just select the compiler and click on OK. Here you will get a new window of file association. Just select on No, leave everything as it is and click on OK. So this is the interface of code block. Here we have different options. We can create a new project or we can open our existing project. And here we get tip of the day. So here we get a few options. So let me show you how you can create your first project using code blocks. For that, just click on file, then click on new and here click on project. And here just select console application, then click on go. And then click on next and here select your programming language. For now, let me select C and after selecting your programming language, click on next. Here you have to give title to your project. So let me name it as my first C. And here we have the project name with extension .cbp. Now we have to select a folder where we want to save our C program. For that just click on this three dots and here just select the location. So let me select this computer. Then let me select document then click on OK. So this is the location where my C programming files will be stored and this is the resulting file location. 
so after tightening a project and selecting a location just click on next and here we have to select our compiler so we had already selected our compiler that is GNU GCC compiler which can compile C and C programming language so for now just keep it default and click on finish and here we have our project name that is my first C and inside this folder we have a source folder inside this source folder we have our main.c file so just double click on the file and here we have our main file so this is a simple program which will print hello world on our console let me change this string to welcome to the coder world and to run this program just click on this build and here you will find build and run option or you can use shortcut key f9 or you can simply click on this icon which says built and run and here on our console here we get welcome to the coder world so if you want to learn more about c programming language then i had already created a playlist so the playlist link will be on the description box or you will get on the i button so this way you can download and install code blocks on your windows 10 computer so that's it for this video if you like this video don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Bye for now. See you next video.